Hello, welcome into my workshop. My name is Louis Palladini and welcome to the show Creations in Clay. Right now I'm just working on adding the finishing touches to a dinosaur sculpture I had done. It's uh, of two Allosaurus facing off against one another and the name of the scene is called Challenger. I'll just kind of spin it a little bit so you can get a, a view of what it looks like. It's uh, the Allosaurus from lived in the Jurassic period. Another dinosaur we had, I'd shown recently was the Stegosaurus, which also lived in that time period. And uh, it was a meat-eating dinosaur. And uh, it was always one of my favorites. It's very similar to the T-Rex, but it's smaller. And it didn't live in the same time period. And the difference between the T-Rex and the Allosaurus is it has three fingers on the hand as opposed to the two like the T-Rex. But uh, today what I'd like to show you is... We're going to do another animal. It's a favorite of everyone when they go to the aquarium. And it is a, a sea turtle. And I will show you how to make this from start to finish. And I will show you how to paint it. And, you know, I, I used three or four different colors. I have the black, I like a light bluish green, the dark green. And then for his belly, we used like a, a white or a, a yellowish color. And I will show you how to do that. But before we do that, I'd like to show you the different types of clay that we can use. There's an oil-based clay, which never hardens. And you can use that. And I've met, as I mentioned before, this is a clay that I used to love using as a kid because you can make all kinds of animals with it. And then when you're through with it, then you can take and roll it back into a ball again. Another type of clay that you can use is an air-hardening clay. And this probably would harden like in a couple hours or overnight. And then what you could do is you could paint it. And that's a very good clay to use. And this can be bought in the art store. My preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey. It's great because you can fire this in a regular home oven at 275 degrees for 15 minutes. And it becomes hard. And then you can paint it. And you can do all kinds of things with it. It's, does it you can do a tremendous amount of detail with this clay. In order to start the process today, I'll show you the different size balls of clay that we'll be using. This is large ball of clay here is what we'll be using to make the shell. The, the two smaller balls of clay that are here, these will be used for the back flippers. These two balls of clay here, they're a little bigger than the ones in the back, and those will be used for the front flippers. And then we will be using this ball of clay for the head. The first part of the process that we want to do is we want to develop the shell. So I'm going to show you how to, we kind of want to make that almost like an oval. And I'll just show you how to, you just kind of take and work it in your hands like this. You just, because you want to kind of flatten it out. And we'll do this. And we'll just, I'll show you how to just kind of work it with your fingers and you know it almost looks like a potato from the side but it's going to be a flatter potato type shape so we'll just keep working it like this and we I just want to kind of see what that we got the proportions just about right and we got you know because in the center here this is what it looks like from the top but on the, around the edges, we want to kind of like curve it down a little bit. So that the center of the, the clay will be a little higher than the rest of the... Uh, but I'll show you how, what it will look like. So this will look like from the side. This will be the back. The side, that's the top view. And then you have the bottom view here. So what we will do is the next step in the process is we're going to take and use a toothpick. It's great because we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do the flippers. So we're going to take this and go from the side and we're going to put the toothpick in like that and we're going to take and you kind of just work it back and forth like this. You want to kind of open up a hole here like this, I'll show you. You go back and forth. You, let's see, I'll get my hand out of the way. So you can kind of see the hole that I'm opening up. And you kind of go like that. 
And, that, and we're going to eventually put one of his flippers in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the other side, and we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to open, take the toothpick, go back and forth, and we're going to just open that hole up so we can put the flipper in there. And then on the very back, we're going to go probably about down to here, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to open up, take and do another flipper down here. We're going to make the hole for the, uh, the back flippers. So we're going to do that. And then I'm going to turn it around, and the other back flipper, I'm going to make sure it's approximately the same spot. We're going to take the toothpick and go like that back and forth. So make, make that hole, and I will show you. Now that I've made the holes, I want to show you. The, this is the back. That's what the front looks like. That's the other front flipper and the back flipper. So what we will do now is we're going to work on making the flippers. We're going to take, the mate, take this ball of clay here, and we're going to make the front flipper. So I'll show you. You just kind of make this, take this. It almost looks like, uh, almost like a diamond shape. But what you do is we're going to take and just kind of flatten that out like that. And you're going to, I'll show you, you know, just flatten it there. And we're going to kind of, I'll show you the shape that we're looking for. Just kind of, this, this is, the, you want to mold it into this shape here. That's what it will look like from the top. This is what it will look like from the side, and this is what it look like from the bottom. And what I'm also going to do is just kind of rework it a little bit. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the turtle now, and we're going to look for the, the front. This is the front part of the shell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and I'm going to stick the flipper in right here. And what we want to do is take and almost kind of work it, take the toothpick and kind of just work that in like that. And we'll go all the way around. And just kind of work it in like that. And now we will proceed to make the second front flipper. We will take, and I will show you, we will make the same shape that we did for that. And I'll show you, just kind of work it like this. Go like that. Just kind of see, so use your, your thumb and your finger, just kind of make that shape like that. And I'll show you. I'm gonna make, I want to make sure it's approximately the same size as the other one, which it is. I'm gonna do a comparison. And well, just, just work this a little bit more, and I'll show you what the shape looks like. So you got that. And so now, this is the shape that you want to create, which is right here. And then that's what it will look like from the side. That's what it looked like from the bottom. So it kind of gives you an idea of what the shape that you want. You got to kind of, kind of make this a little more pointed so you can stick it into that little slot that we made. So now we're going to take, and I'm going to place this flipper in on this side. And we're going to take our trusty little toothpick and kind of just work that like that. You're just going to work that and go like that. And then we're going to do it around the other side. So you take and go like that. And then you work this side too. You just kind of push the clay up against the shell. So now we have our, our two flippers in the front. The next thing that we will want to do is we want to make the rear flippers. So we proceed. These are going to be shaped. They're going to be smaller. So, but it's the same shape, type of shape. So I'll show you. We just kind of want to flatten these out. And we're going to, we're going to put these flippers in the rear or the back. So you take and you just kind of work those flippers like that. 
is take your fingers, kind of pinch it, and we'll flatten them out. And then you're going to kind of make this kind of little pointed because that, that's what we're going to put that into the slot uh, that we created. So we're going to take this flipper now and we're going to insert it on this side. And just kind of push that in like that. And then we're going to take the toothpick and we're just going to kind of like push the clay up against the shell now. To, this, this will ensure that it won't come out. And then we will do the same on the side here. So you kind of just work it like that. And then we'll do this on the bottom. Like that. And you go all the way around. So you can start to see that the turtle is starting to take shape. We're just going to do the last flipper. And then I will show you how to do the... The, 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 after we do the next flipper, we're going to work on the head, but I'm going to show you how to do the last flipper. What you want to do is take this and just kind of work it like this and go like that. You just want to just work that between your fingers and do that and you know, just kind of flatten it out. And then what we're going to do is as I, as I flatten it out, I'm going to kind of measure it up against the one that I did previously. So they're approximately the same size. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put this other flipper in on this side. And you're going to, then we're going to take the toothpick and just kind of work, work the clay up against the shell now. And we're going to do this all the way around. I'll show you, you're going to just take that, just going to work that like that and work the, the clay like that. The next step in the process that we're going to take now is we're going to create the spot where we're going to put the head. So what I'm going to do is from the front take our toothpick and I'm going to put it in here and we're going to work that back and forth the way we did on the other one. It's going to work that back and forth creating that opening for the head. So you just keep working it like that. And you want, want to make it a little want to make it a little bigger. Want to make it big enough for the and then another technique I also like to do too is if I've done something like this previously, I like to maybe compare it to an earlier version that I did. So I'm kind of I will look at the turtle that I made here and I'll kind of look at the opening that I made and kind of get an idea of the size and the proportions to make sure that they're similar, as you can see here. In, you know, now I will proceed to make the head and the neck. So what we do is take this ball of clay here, and we just kind of work this. I'll show you. We're gonna, you want to thin out this portion here, because this is going to be the neck that's actually going to go into that hole. And then we're going to work and make the head so I'll just show you, you just kind of work that between your fingers and I'll show you the shape that you want to make. And then we're going to take this turtle and we're going to, this, at the end it's going to be kind of rounded out. So, and then what we want to do too is we also want to make, I'll show you, we're going to almost make like a little beak and you take, make the little beak like this. Almost like a little beak and I'll show you. You kind of take and pinch it between your fingers like this, and I'll show you what it should look like. Okay, this is what the it will look like from the front. This is what it will look like from the side. See how it the this part is smaller and then this part is larger. And then this is the view from the left side. So what we will do now is we will take this head and neck and I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to take, I'll show you again, just kind of insert that in there like that. And we can take the toothpick and we kind of work the clay down against the neck like that. I'll try to do it from, so you can get a better view. 
and then we'll do the same on the bottom. We'll flip it over, and I will show you we will take, just kind of work the toothpick in like this, because you want to make sure that the head stays in there. So the next step that we will take in this process is we're going to make the eyes. We'll take our toothpick and we will make the eyes. What I will do is I will stick it here on the side like this. And then we'll take the toothpick, put it in like this. And then just kind of rotate it. And then we'll do the same on the other side. What I will do is I will look here to make sure I put it in approximately the same location. So I'm looking here from the front, and I'll make sure that they're about level. And then we're in the same spot. So you see, I stick the toothpick in like this, and take and roll. Roll the toothpick. The next thing that we want to create on the turtle is we want to create the nose. So we'll take and we'll make little indentations with the toothpick here for the nose, like that. And then we will proceed to do it on the other side. Now look to see if, make sure it's approximately the same location. So we're going to take and just kind of roll that and put that there. So now we have a happy turtle. We're going to make a, a happy face on him. So what we're going to do is going to show you. We're going to take and make a happy face like this. And then we will do the same from the other side. I just got to see roughly where I had done it. Okay. So now we're going to take, and I'll show you, going to kind of go like that. We can take and kind of go like this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to force the head in a little more because I think that it's kind of weak. And just kind of take my thumb and go like that and make that. So the next thing that we will want to do is we want to create more of the shell. So what I will show you is we're going to take some extra clay from over here and I'm going to take and I'm going to roll some little pieces of clay. I'm going to take a piece of clay off like this and we're going to use our trusty table. I'm going to take and roll this out like this. And I'll show you because we're going to kind of create a lip on the shell. But I'll show you how that we're going to do that. So we're just going to roll this in the table because it, it, it should go all the way around the shell. So we'll roll the clay. We'll continue to roll it like this. It's handy having the table like this, being able to just roll the clay, and we're going to be able to create that lip on the shell. Just keep rolling it, make it nice and thin. And then we'll kind of gauge where we're at. Okay. So we'll roll that. So what I will do is I'll break this in half. And I'll show you this is this what the, the piece will look like. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of clay now and we're going to place it on top of the turtle's shell like this. We're going to kind of create that lip. So what we're doing is we're taking and we're going like this, placing along the edge like that, and we're creating that lip or edge that I was telling you about. So then we can proceed to go to the other side like this, and we can kind of attach it like that. So the next thing that we will want to do is we're going to take this piece of clay, the second piece of clay, and we're going to take and start to finish off where we had that little piece there. We're going to go around, and we're going to go all the way around to where the head is again. Now we have too much clay, so I'm just going to take 
that little pinch that little piece off and we'll, that's the extra clay. So what we will do now is I'm going to take and I'm going to show you we're going to kind of try to work that lip in like that. Take your finger and kind of work that in like this. You kind of just take your finger and you go like that and you just kind of work it in. And we're going to go all the way around and do that. So you take and do that. And I'll get, you know, just kind of work it with your finger. So then what I also want to do too is I want to take this and kind of pinch it too. Just pinch it and almost make a, a triangular type shape on the side. I'll show you. We're going to go all the way around. You just kind of pinch the clay. Like that. This is what it will look like from the top. This is what it will look like from the side. And that's what it will look like from that side. We're going to do a little more work here to the top. I just kind of want to just work this like this and make it a, a little more smooth like that. You can just kind of work that like that. Just take them and work it go like that. Now, and just kind of work it. So, as you can see here, you can, it, it almost, you almost want to do it so you can't see that little, that, the, the line or where you had attached it. So the next step in the process that I like to take is we want to make the turtle's shell. So what we're going to do is take the toothpick now and we're going to run this down like this. You're going to take and just kind of make like a squig, a line. You can curve it a little bit here and there like this. And you're going to just do that right all the way to the end. Now, you're going to do on the other side, do the same thing. Take and make that line down on the shell, like that. You just kind of make a, a you can curve it, make it a little squiggly. So that the next thing that we will want to do is now we're going to kind of crisscross, almost think of like tic-tac-toe. And that, and you do that. And we'll do the same going across again. To create the shell. And we'll do that again. Just go like that. And then you can go like this. And we'll make the, the last set of lines like that. So as you can see, we're creating the, the turtle's shell. We'll also want to do something like that on the bottom. So we'll flip them over. And we'll do the same thing on the bottom. So we're going to take and we're going to run the toothpick down there like that. Make the, you can make a little squiggly line like that. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. And you just kind of make that little squiggle little, a little bit. And then think of tic-tac-toe. We're making, we're going back the other way now. That's the simplest way to do it. You're making the boxes to almost create almost like a, like a tic-tac-toe grid. And you go like this. You just kind of go along like that and you just kind of go and do that and we got that on the bottom and then on the side now we've created the the shell on the top what I like to do now is you're going to take your toothpick and you just kind of like make these little indentations where you kind of put that little lip so you just kind of drag like this a little bit to create that that lip or the, the, that little piece of shell there. So you kind of just take, make little lines like that. And we're going to do that all the way around. Well, I'm going to go back up here because it'll be easy for me to do it that way. You just kind of make little lines on that little lip like this. And I'll show you what that looks like when, when we're, once I've made all the lines. You want to do that. And then you, you, up the top, you kind of want to do the same thing to kind of create that. I'll, and I'll show you what it looks like. So now if you look at this now, 
you can kind of see all the, those little lines that I made in there. And you do that all the way around. And that's how you make your sea turtle. And so now, that's what he, he looks the, the finished sea turtle will look like. So you have the, the shell and you've got the grid. You know, it's a very simple technique for making it. You have the grid on the bottom, as you can see. And uh, that's what it, how you will make the clay model. I will show you now how to paint this clay model. And what you want to do now is on this turtle here, we will be using acrylic paints. These are the acrylic paints that we'll be using. They can be bought in any art store. There's about 18 of them in this box. And uh, the colors that we'll be using tonight are, let's take these out. You want to use almost like a, a light blue green. We will be using a regular green. We will be using, it's almost like a, a yellowish beige color. And then we'll be using black. And I will show you how to paint that. I'll just move some of these aside. We will be using different types of brushes tonight. You'd want to use a wide brush like this for the uh, for doing the back. We're going to use a smaller brush for doing the the flippers. It'll be about this size, and the we'll be using this size brush for doing the bottom of the shell. And then we will use. I'll take one of these small brushes, and we'll try to use this for the eyes. So the first step in the process that we want to take is we want to uh, do a little painting here. I'll show you. I'm going to get a paper towel. I need, because uh, I don't want to get too much paint on the table tonight. And uh, we'll just, I'll show you what we're going to do. The first thing that we're going to do is we'll probably paint the very bottom. We'll take this almost yellowish beige that will show you. We will take and we will paint this now. So what you'll want to do is kind of go back and forth like this to paint the bottom. You just kind of want to go back and forth, back and forth like that. And you're going to paint the entire bottom of the shell in this manner. And you do that. Now, in this process, you might want to do the rest of the turtle first, and then you can do this. If, if you, what you probably want to do is, once you paint the entire bottom, I would let it dry like this. Put it on the table like this, upside down. Let it dry like that. Because if you don't let it dry, and then you go to, and you go to paint some other things and you have it on like a paper towel, it will stick. So once that dries, we're going to take and we want to paint the, the legs or the flippers in the head. We're going to use this light blue-green color and then we'll show you how to do that. We will take and we will proceed to paint the flippers. So you're going to go back and forth, back and forth like this. Just kind of back and forth, back and forth. I'll show you a couple of different flippers. I'm going to do back and forth, back and forth on the flippers. And then you'll do it all the way around. You want to make sure that you're doing all the way around on the flippers. As you can see here, I want to make sure that we do the, the sides, the, the top, the bottom. So you just back and forth, back and forth. Once you've painted all the flippers, you'll want to paint the head green. And we're going to paint the head right here. So I will show you. I'm going to go back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth. 
Then we're going to do the same on the other side, back and forth, back and forth. I want to just make sure that you are, you'll do that all the way around for the heads, the flipper, and the flippers. The next step in the process for painting is you want to paint the, the top of the shell. I'm going to put this in here. I want to clean up some of these things now. We don't need this paint here. We'll move these out of the way. I'll make it easier for you to see. The next thing that we will want to do is paint the top of the shell. And what we're going to do is we're going to do back and forth, back and forth, like this. Back and forth, back and forth. And we'll take, and we'll do the same thing here. I'm getting a little paint on my hands from the bottom, but I just want to demonstrate you just kind of go back and forth, back and forth to paint the green shell like that with the green paint. And we'll just, I'll just show you one more thing here. Back and forth, back and forth. So it's a pretty cool effect. Once you get everything together, it, it makes a very nice effect. The last thing that we want to do in the painting is actually to paint the eyes. We'll proceed to do the eyes. So we're going to take the black paint. I will show you. So now you can see the turtle's eye right there. I'm just going to take the black paint and just kind of insert it into the hole where the eye is. And then there's also a hole here for the nose. So I'm going to do that. And then there's also the mouth. I'm going to try to do the mouth like that. So you just very, very carefully. And then we'll proceed to do the other side. I'll show you how to do the other eye. Just going to make sure that. So we're going to take, I'm going to put this in the other eye. And then we're going to do the nose. Insert it there. And then we'll do the mouth. So you get the mouth. So now we've done the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the flippers. The, once you've completed painting that entire turtle, I'll show you what it should look like. This is what the finished turtle will look like. As you can see here, I painted the underside. And as you can see, I, I did get a little paper on because I did try to paint this and some of the paper did stick. You paint the underside that almost like beige color. You paint the flippers. As you can see here on the turtle, I got the eyes and the mouth, which I painted black. I'll show you from the other angle. And then we have the back of the turtle, which is painted green. So it, uh, once you combine all the paints, it, you have some, a pretty cool effect. It's a very simple technique for making a turtle. And I hope you enjoyed the uh, show tonight. And I do want to thank you for coming to Creations in Clay, and I look forward to seeing you next week. And I will get back to adding the finishing touches on my sculpture. Hi kids, how would you like to win some professional model and play like the one that I use in the show? Please send pictures of your creations in play and we will enter them into a drawing. You can send by mail or email and I can't wait to see what you've been up to.